If you've ever had a kidney stone, you know how painful it can be. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. They can cause symptoms like severe back or side pain, blood in your urine, nausea, vomiting, and fever. But don't worry, there are some natural ways to help dissolve and flush out kidney stones without surgery or medication. In this video, we'll reveal the best 10 home remedies for kidney stones that you can try today. But always remember to consult your doctor before trying any of them. And if you have severe pain, fever, chills, blood in your urine, or difficulty urinating, you should seek medical attention immediately. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, drink plenty of water. This is the most important thing you can do to prevent and treat kidney stones. Water helps dilute your urine and flush out the minerals that form stones. Drinking water is not only good for preventing kidney stones, but also for treating them. If you have a small stone that can pass on its own, drinking plenty of water can help you flush it out faster and reduce the pain. So try to aim for at least two liters of water per day or more if you sweat a lot or live in a hot climate. A study of over 78,000 women found that those who drank more than 2.5 liters of water per day had a 41% lower risk of developing kidney stones than those who drank less than one liter. Number two, add some lemon juice to your water. Lemon juice contains citrate, which is a salt that binds to calcium in your urine and prevents it from forming stones. Calcium is one of the main components of kidney stones, so reducing its amount in your urine can lower your risk of developing them. Citrate also makes your urine less acidic, which inhibits the growth of other types of stones. A study of 12 people with recurrent kidney stones found that drinking lemonade every day for four years reduced the number of stones by 87%. But how much lemon juice do you need to drink to get these benefits? Well, according to Dr. Eisner, a kidney specialist at Harvard Medical School, you should drink half a cup of lemon juice concentrate diluted in water each day, or the juice of two lemons. That's about 120 milliliters of lemon juice, which may sound like a lot, but it's worth it if you want to avoid the agony of passing a stone. If you don't like the taste of lemon juice, you can add some honey or sugar to sweeten it. Number three, try apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is another source of citric acid that can help dissolve kidney stones and ease the pain. It also has anti-inflammatory properties that can reduce swelling and infection in your kidneys. You can mix one or two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with water and drink it several times a day until your symptoms improve. Number four, limit foods high in oxalates. Oxalate is a natural compound found in many plant foods such as spinach, beets, chocolate, nuts, and rhubarb. It can also be produced by your body as a byproduct of metabolism. It is not harmful by itself, but it can bind to calcium in your urine and form calcium oxalate crystals, which are the most common type of kidney stones. The more oxalate you consume, the more likely you are to have high levels of oxalate in your urine, which increases your chances of forming kidney stones. A recent study found that people who consumed more than 300 milligrams of oxalate per day had a 2.5 times higher risk of developing kidney stones than those who consumed less than 150 milligrams per day. The first step to prevent kidney stones is to reduce your intake of oxalate-rich foods. You don't have to avoid them completely, but you should eat them in moderation and pair them with calcium-rich foods, such as milk, yogurt, cheese, and fortified cereals. Some examples of foods high in oxalates are spinach, chocolate, almonds, cashews, rhubarb, and beets. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number five, drink wheatgrass juice. Wheatgrass is a young grass that is rich in chlorophyll, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. It has many health benefits, such as boosting your immune system, detoxifying your liver, improving your digestion, and lowering your cholesterol. But did you know that wheatgrass juice can also help prevent kidney stones? 
According to a 2017 study, wheatgrass extract inhibited crystal growth by 88% during the initial formation. How does wheatgrass juice do that? Well, one of the reasons why kidney stones form is because of low urine pH. When your urine is too acidic, it can dissolve certain minerals and form crystals. Wheatgrass juice can help balance your urine pH and make it more alkaline. This can prevent the crystals from forming or growing. Another reason why kidney stones form is because of low magnesium levels. Magnesium is a mineral that can inhibit the crystals from sticking together and forming stones. Wheatgrass juice contains magnesium, which can help dissolve the existing stones and prevent new ones from forming. So how much wheatgrass juice should you drink to prevent kidney stones? Well, some experts suggest drinking about two ounces, or 60 milliliters, of wheatgrass juice per day. You can drink it on an empty stomach in the morning or before meals throughout the day. Number six, cut down on sodium. Sodium is a mineral that helps regulate fluid balance, blood pressure, and nerve function in your body. The problem here is that too much sodium can increase the amount of calcium in your urine, which is one of the main components of kidney stones, so having more of it in your urine makes it easier for stones to form. According to a study published in the Journal of Urology, reducing sodium intake from 4,000 mg to 2,000 mg per day decreased the risk of kidney stone recurrence by 35%. Another study found that lowering sodium intake from 3,300 mg to 1,500 mg per day reduced the risk of new kidney stone formation by 50%. So, how much sodium should you consume? Well, the recommended daily intake of sodium for adults is 2,300 mg. However, if you have a history of kidney stones or other risk factors, you may benefit from reducing your sodium intake even further. Some experts suggest aiming for 1,500 mg per day or less. But how do you do that? Well, the first step is to avoid adding salt to your food. You can use other spices and herbs to add flavor instead. The second step is to read nutrition labels and choose foods that are low in sodium or have no added salt. The third step is to limit processed foods such as canned soups, frozen meals, deli meats, cheese, bread, and snacks. These foods tend to be high in sodium and low in nutrients. Number seven, increase your calcium intake. Contrary to popular belief, calcium does not cause kidney stones. In fact, it can actually help prevent them by binding with oxalate in your digestive tract and preventing it from entering your urine. So when you eat more calcium, you reduce the amount of oxalate that passes through your kidneys, which prevents the formation of stones. That's why people who form calcium oxalate stones should include 1,000 milligrams of calcium in their diet every day. But not all calcium sources are equal. You should get your calcium from foods, not supplements. Supplements can increase your risk of stones by raising the level of calcium in your urine. Foods, on the other hand, have other nutrients that can balance out the effects of calcium. Some examples of calcium-rich foods are dairy products, such as milk, yogurt, and cheese. Number eight, drink hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea is a delicious and refreshing drink made from the dry calluses of the hibiscus flower. It has a tart and fruity flavor, and it can be enjoyed hot or cold. According to several studies, Hibiscus tea can help dissolve and flush out kidney stones by inhibiting the formation of calcium oxalate crystals, which are the most common type of kidney stones. It also reduces the accumulation of stone-forming substances in the urine like uric acid. In fact, one study found that drinking two cups of hibiscus tea per day for six weeks significantly reduced the number of kidney stone episodes. To make hibiscus tea, you just need to steep one teaspoon of dried hibiscus calluses in a cup of boiling water for five minutes. You can add honey, lemon, or mint to enhance the flavor. Number nine, drink celery juice. Celery is a natural diuretic, which means it makes you pee more. This helps flush out the excess minerals and salts from your kidneys and prevent them from forming stones. 
It also contains apigenin with other antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that may protect your kidneys from oxidative stress and inflammation. Some studies have shown that celery extract can reduce the formation of calcium oxalate crystals in rats. You can make celery juice by blending one or two stalks of celery with water and straining the pulp. Number 10. Eat less animal protein. According to several studies, eating too much animal protein, such as red meat, poultry, eggs, and seafood, can increase the amount of acid in your urine. This can make it easier for certain compounds, such as calcium oxalate and uric acid, to crystallize and form stones. Animal protein can also reduce the amount of citrate in your urine, which is a substance that helps prevent stone formation. So how much animal protein should you eat if you have kidney stones or want to avoid them? Well, some experts recommend limiting your daily meat intake to no more than 3 ounces or 85 grams per day. So, these were the best 10 home remedies for kidney stones that you can try at home. Remember, these remedies are not a substitute for medical advice or treatment, and you should always consult your doctor before trying any of them. Kidney stones can be a serious condition that can lead to complications like kidney damage, infection, or blockage of the urinary tract. If you have severe pain, fever, chills, blood in your urine, or difficulty urinating, you should seek medical attention immediately. Now we want to hear from you. Did you have kidney stones before? Did you try some of these remedies? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.